traffic, but I know you're in a hurry. I'll get you to the quarter mains as soon as possible. I've been living away from home for a while. I make my own choices now, and I expect all of you to respect my privacy. Well, to be honest with you, Emily, finding you in bed with somebody in this house is, to say the least, disconcerting. Hey, there's a simple solution, Mom. Knock on my door before you come barreling in. If Grandfather had given me that courtesy, I would have told him that I had a guest. Xander is not a guest, my dear. He is a serial delinquent who should have been put behind bars a long time ago. What, because I'm a kidnapper? So are most of you. Hey, take it easy. You're treading on thin ice. Yeah, this from the arsonist? Uh, you know, excuse me, I hate to interrupt, especially when your best insults are coming out at the moment, but do we really have to do this in front of the baby? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Christina was... Oh, here. Well, maybe we thought the pram with the moving bundle inside would be a clue. You know what, Sky's right. No innocent child should be subjected to this. Well, maybe I'll take her, her bottle, if, if that's okay, Ned. Yeah, thank you. Here we go. Oh, yes. oh. Oh, now you listen to me, young lady, and you too, you hooligan. There will be no fornicating in this house, and I'm going to make sure that it never happens again. Reginald, call the police. Door. Reginald, don't just stand there. Tell whoever it is to go away. Oh, Daddy, surely you don't mean that. Isn't someone going to welcome me home? Why you? Why now? I warned you never to darken my door again. <laughs> Daddy, that was ages ago, and I suddenly realized it has been such a long time since we've all been in the same room together. Oddly enough, it seems only like yesterday. Oddly enough, I really miss you, and look who I brought with me. Come on, sweetheart, don't hang by the door. Come in and get acquainted with your family. I'm sure you'll recognize everybody. This is your grandfather, Edward, the family patriarch. No. Oh. The one permanently standing in his shadow is your Uncle Alan. Come with me. This is your Auntie Monica. Sweetheart, you ought to think about updating the hairdo. And your cousin AJ, the little black sheep of the family. Are you still living at home? Hmm, let's see. Let me guess. You're that little orphan child that Alan and Monica adopted. Am I right? Is it Emily? How good to see you standing, sweetheart. Last I heard you were in a wheelchair. <laughs> Him, I have no idea who he is. He's probably a gardener. The servants around here get way too much latitude. Daddy and I agree on that. Now, I have saved the very best for the very last. This is your older brother, my firstborn, who can't help but love me in spite of himself. Don't be so sure. Dylan, I feel like I should say, nice to meet you. Me too. All of you. You uh, probably couldn't tell when you walked in, but we were kind of in the middle of something. <gasps> a family conflagration? What fun! Yes, it's true. Our mother would probably enjoy it, but I don't think you would. You'd probably be bored to tears. Uh, do you have a driver's license? Sure. Okay. My car is a black Mercedes in the driveway. I want you to take it out and go for a spin and check out the city of... Ned, wait a minute. You are not going to send uh, him no, out the moment Mom. we walk in the door. Mom, it's okay. Drive sounds good. You guys... Going with, uh, whatever. Now you listen to me. The minute that kid gets back, you are going to go out and you are going to go back to wherever you've been all these years. Wait a minute. Who's this? Got it. This must be Alan's other My little... name is Skye. I'm Alan's oldest daughter. You must be Aunt Tracy. I am surprised, though. You look so much younger in your pictures. Who was your mother again? Don't tell me. It's all coming back to me now.
that trailer trash that Daddy tried to get Alan to stop seeing. And what was her name? Oh, yes, a fairy tale name, Gretel. Gretel Ray Cornpone, cow patty. It's Gretel Ray Cummings, and you damn well know it. What are you getting so upset about? I can't be expected to remember the name of every tart you ever slept with. I'd advise you to watch your mouth, lady. <laughs> really? Or what? Mother, that is enough. Xander, listen to me. This is a family situation. It's probably a good time for you to leave. All right. And don't come back. Oh, it's really refreshing to hear you say that to somebody other than your only daughter. Who was that? My boyfriend. Wow. Not that it's any of your business. Phew. My family does the courtesy of adopting you, and the least you can do is be polite. Emily, um, why don't you run upstairs and let us catch up with Tracy, okay? <laughs> you watch it. Or you'll be the one with different hair, because I will personally rip out every single one of those dyed roots if you ever talk to my daughter that way again. How does it feel? You've been in this house less than ten minutes, and that's all it takes for everyone to remember why they never want to see you again. One of the sad ironies of life, AJ, is that you don't get to pick your family. I'm a quarter man. And I need help. And I'm not leaving until I get it. <laughs>